Hello and welcome to lesson one of the AgriDEP GAMS training. In this lesson, we will show you how to install GAMS on a Windows 7 computer. We will show you how to create a project. And we will also show you the GAMS IDE interface. First, let's learn a little bit about GAMS. The acronym GAMS stands for General Algebraic Modeling System. The software is useful for economists as it can be used for the calculation of complex mathematical expressions, data handling, solving different types of economic problems such as optimization problems and general equilibrium models, and we can also run simulations. Let's go through the process of installing GAMS. Before you start the installation, you need to learn a little bit about your computer. Here we'll be using a Windows 7 system, but you can install GAMS on Windows, Mac, or Linux, and in 32 or 64 bit. If you're installing on Mac or Linux, or an older Windows operating system, you should follow the instructions on the GAMS website. On the Windows 7 system, click the Start button and select Control Panel. The following window will open. First, select System and Security. Next, select System. Here you can see under Windows Edition that we have Windows 7 Professional installed. And under System, we can see that the system type is 64-bit. You need to remember this information for when you go to the GAMS website and download the installation files. The next information you need is to find out whether or not you have a license. If you don't have a license, this is not a problem. You will be able to use GAMS in its demo mode, which allows you to run small models. All of the models in this training will run under the demo version, so without a license. If you do have a GAMS license, you should locate it on your computer or copy it in your clipboard so that you can paste it when GAMS asks for it during the installation process. Once you know this information about your system, you should open your browser and go to www.gams.com. Once you get to the GAMS website, you will see this screen. You should click on Download Current GAMS System. This will download the latest GAMS system. Next, you should select the platform that's consistent with your system. Here, as we previously mentioned, we'll be using Windows 64-bit system. Once you click on the link, an EXE or an executable file will download automatically. You should run it after it's downloaded. When you run the EXE file, this window will open. We will use the standard installation mode. Unless you have specific settings you want to use, you should not click Use Advanced Installation Mode. Click on Next. This window will appear, allowing you to set where the installation will occur. Here we are going to use the default. Click Next. You'll see this window showing you that the setup is ready to install. If you would like to change any of the settings, you can click back now and change the settings. If everything looks okay to you, click on install. After the installation is completed, you will be asked to provide the information regarding your GAMS license. Here we will be using no license, so we'll select no license demo only. If you have a license, you can click on Copy License File or Copy License Text from Clipboard depending on your setup from earlier. Once you have this information and you selected the option that you wanted, click Finish. Once the installation is finished, GAMS IDE will be launched automatically. If you do not already have a project file created on your computer, GAMS will automatically make one for you. Let's discuss more about creating a project. But first we need to go over the GAMS file structure. 
Program files are files that GAMS will be able to execute and with the suffix .gms. You can also include external files into the main program, such as data or subprograms. Once GAMS executes a .gms file, it automatically creates an output file with the exact same name, but with the .lst extension, along with a .log file. The log files provide information on the running results, specifically solution and error status. The location of the project file .grp, determines where GAMS will look for external files to be included. So if all files related to a program are located in the same directory, there is no need to enter the full path. All output files will also be automatically saved in this directory. In other words, the directory in which the user creates a project should be the same as the one where he or she saves its program. Let's create a project together. First, make a new folder using your file browser. If GAMS IDE is not already open, you should open it. In the GAMS browser, click on the File menu, go to Project, and then choose New Project. You'll see this window open. You first want to go to the directory that you created in your file browser. Once you're in the correct folder, write the name you want to give your project in the file name box. Here, our folder name is GAMS Training and our file name is Lesson 1. Once you have these things set up, click on Open. At the top of your GAMS IDE window, you can see that the name and the location of your project have appeared. For further information on how to use GAMS IDE, you should see our guided tour video. Now that you've gone through the first lesson with us, you should be able to complete the following. First, install GAMS IDE on your computer. Then create a directory in which you will save the different programs for the remainder of this training. Next, create a project in the directory and try running a few models from the library. Good luck and thank you for listening to Lesson 1.